I'm slipping off my chair. I'm sorry about the mess in the background. You're just gonna have to bear with me. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking, oh, I'm looking quite perky today and I'm thinking like, what bra have I got like? My, my, my bra, like the only bras that I own that fit me well and give me good boobage and you know, a decent bras are up by up bra. Hence today's video. But yeah, I was thinking to myself, like, what the heck? Like, what have I gone on? And then I realised I was wearing the strapless up bra, which is pretty much the only bra I wear nowadays. I literally have it in about four. Yeah, about four colours. No, three colours. I have two black, one nude, and one white. Or I might have two white, two black, and one nude. I can't remember. Something like that. I think I have four or five of them. Um. Because after they sponsored me last time, literally, I was like, that's it. I'm going to have to go buy these bras, like, and I did. I went out and bought more because I just, of how great they were. Um, now, I'm not a fan of strapless, I mean, strap bras, t-shirt bras, as they call call them. Like, like for example, is it, now where is it? For example, like this, like these bras. I'm just not a fan. I don't wear them often unless I'm wearing a t-shirt just because when I'm wearing tops like this I don't like my straps to be showing only the strap of the the top itself so before I get into this video I'm gonna take this bra off and I'm gonna just put on a normal bra before we start so you guys can see what a normal bra is compared to like the up bra and then I'm gonna go on and review it for you the t-shirt bra um, which is this bad boy here and I will also compare it to the strapless bra that I have on at the moment just so you guys can see because I love the strapless version so I'm hoping that the t-shirt version is going to be just as amazing and that when I'm wearing t-shirts I can have especially lower cut t-shirts that show maybe a little bit of boobage because I have no boobs <laughs> let's just get straight to it I literally have no boobs um, Especially since I've lost weight, I've just become so, so flat chested. Let me, let me show you. Let me just take this off so you guys can see, because this is making me look like I have more than I have. Like, I am so flat. Like, do you see this, people? I'm literally a pancake. Pancakes are not boobs. <laughs> so, people like myself who have pancakes, um, yeah, if I didn't look like a girl, I could pass for a boy. That's how much I am. So, I absolutely up, up bra, love up bra. Literally, it's the only bras that I've been wearing. Like, even, like, for example, I used to spend money on expensive bras, like Calvin Klein, etc. For the brand, I wasn't buying anything special. You know, I can go over to Asda and buy the same thing for five pounds. Why would I, you know, like, why, and why? And then I was like, why am I spending all this money on designer bras when they're literally nothing special so with up bra it makes sense to me i would rather pay the extra money and actually own four or five decent bras that i know are gonna last a long long time and that i know i'm going to wear and i literally wear every day or i just don't wear a bra if i'm not gonna wear a bra then i just go you know i don't wear a bra but if i'm going to wear a bra you can guarantee it will be up bra literally the only bra I wear. Yes, this video is sponsored. I don't know if I already said that. Um, however, all opinions are my own. And if you follow my vlog channel, you will know. I literally go on about them all the time. And it's literally, I love it so much. I am just gonna pop on this bra just so we can just see what a normal bra looks like. And then we're gonna put on the up bra to see the difference. Now, again, I'm not a huge fan of cleavages either. Although I like a little bit of something just to say, hey, look, I have boobs, don't worry. Like, there is something here. <laughs> Just to, you know, clarify. Um, however, I'm not a huge, huge lover of like, you know, like, eh, like that. I feel like it's a bit too much, depending on what I'm wearing and the situation. Um, but most of the time, I just want a little bit of something. Um, and the only way I can achieve that these days nowadays is with uh, some sellotape or up bra. <laughs> there are other push-up bras out there, obviously, um, but I've, I, I haven't really ever found one that I genuinely really, really like and is comfortable. So, yeah, let's try this bad boy on. Okay, so at the moment we are just in a bra alone, just because I want to show you guys um, just what it looks like. It doesn't really 
do much for me besides cover the boob. Look how much extra like, material there. I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like it doesn't really do much. It obviously gives me a little bit more, it looks like I've got boobs a bit more just because of the cups. Like, you know, they're giving me extra, I don't know what you call this, extra. Like, if I put my shirt on over the top, you know what I mean? It's giving me, making me look like I've got fuller than I am, but it's not doing anything for me. Do you know what I mean? It's not giving me a cleavage. Like, even if I pull them in, like, they just slip back down again. There's nothing special about it. Also, this is my feeding tube for anybody wondering. Um, and I am planning on doing a full video on this bad boy. Because people think that I've got rid of, well, I've got rid of my nose hose. But I still am tube fed. It's just in a different spot so yeah i plan on doing a full video about that so if you do have any questions relating to this just leave them down below and i'll try and do answer them in the video when i get around to filming that eventually but yeah we can see it's not doing anything for me it's nothing special you know 89 pounds for a bra is a bit excessive when it looks like this on you now moving on to the up bra i'm just gonna show you guys some of the like features before we put it on because i won't be able to show you once it's on um, so these love hearts here are actually um, they kind of got a little bit of rubber, I suppose, but not in an uncomfortable way. They're just kind of a bit rubbery. I don't know what the word is, um, but that's just to hold your boob in place to give it more, like to hold it there. And then when you, you know, pull these little straps, which I'll talk about in a sec, it will all suck everything in and give you a nice boob. So the bra itself actually comes. It comes in this box here lovely good old up bra box um, and it comes with a little extension piece so you can make the strap so you can give yourself more length at the back if you need to I don't think I need it I think I'm fine on about the second or third one that's good for me but if you needed it there is extra back length now this is where the magic comes in of giving you the lift um, so these are kind of like if you guys ever had a strapless bra like where you can add the straps on and off again this is what these are like if i can get it unclipped so once your poppies are in all you do and i'll show you when it's on is you kind of pull these little crisscross here and that as you can see it's pulling in the bra and they've got it's basically a little bit of hard plastic in here and no it's not uncomfortable i got a lot of questions about that in my last up bra video because there is a little bit of plastic in here, like a bit of hard plastic. You can't feel it with the padding and the, the material of the bra. Like you really, honestly, you can't, eat, you don't even know it's there. So you just pull these bad boys and then you kind of, you know, look at your boobs and think, yep, that, that's good, I like it there. And then all you do, once you're happy with what your cleavage is like, you just hook them in like into a little slot like that. Um, and there's slots all the way along so you can decide how much cleavage you want. So, let's put this bad boy on. As you guys can see, like, the bra alone, like, it's already given me a little bit of, if I just move, you know, pull myself in, like, with, this is without even tightening the straps, look at that already. Uh, you don't even need the straps. I mean, obviously, when you're moving around in the day and whatnot, they're probably going to come apart again. So you're going to lose the cleavage. So, like I showed you before, you just, obviously, depending on how much cleavage you want, you don't do that, or you could, you know, have a bit less. You know, I'm thinking maybe, well, only just put it on one of the first rungs I would say. So all you do is decide where you want it and then just hook it underneath like that. I think that is a decent amount of cleavage and just from a side view as well. Look, even this side. Like it's all fits in, you know, it's giving me enough cleavage and then I'm happy and now I was about to say where's my top just pop this back on so you can see if I'm wearing like a lower cut top like this how much nicer it looks with a bit of something there not just flat and again the probably the strapless bra will probably work a lot lot better for this just because I don't like like double straps um however 
I'm happy. I can't complain. So yeah, before and after guys, I just think it looks so, so much better. Personally, I like a little bit of boobage, but not, not like that. You know, all up in your face, all up in your grill with your, with your, but if you're going out, you know, like a, like a night out with the girls or whatever, and you want a little bit more on show, like, and you just don't have anything, don't listen to those guys that tell you it's misleading, okay? I think we should feel comfortable in our own bodies and sometimes we're not given the best features <laughs> or you know you find yourselves comparing yourselves to other girls who maybe have bigger boobs and they're like no my boobs are too big I wish I had smaller boobs and you, you, there's always going to be something but at the end of the day as long as you guys are comfortable with your bodies and you know you're happy and at the end of, like I said at the end of the day if that makes you happy if it gives you more confidence go for it. Me personally I I, I never used to have small boobs, but since I lost like, lost weight, I definitely noticed that I've gone down in a quite a few bra sizes. So the fact that I'm able to still achieve a good boob look without necessarily carrying big, like big boobs all the time, you know, I can pick and choose. Maybe maybe having small boobs is better. Who knows? I do have a discount code for you. Um. So I will leave um, all the links to Up Bra and the bra I'm wearing in the description. Or there'll be links to Up Bra, so you guys can go check them out. They're actually, I don't know if they've brought out or they're bringing out a swimwear version. And oh my god, I cannot wait. Like, I'll have to check if they've got it out or not. But I remember reading something somewhere about them bringing out like a like a swim swimwear version of Up Bra. I need that in my life. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> So if you guys want to get $10 off your first up bra, you can use my code, which is Amy Lee up bra 10 d I don't know why it's 10D, I do not have 10D. Like that is not my bra size. However, that is my code. So it'll be up on the screen and it'll be in the description down below. So if you guys do wanna get your own up bra, then that's a little bit of help towards your first one. So yeah, go check them out guys. And if you do have one already, or you've um, already brought one, please let me know what you think and if you love it as much as I do, because seriously, I love this bra so much. Um, but yeah, I love you guys so much. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit the subscribe button. And I will see you all in my next video. Make sure you go check out Up Bra, guys. Thank you for sponsoring me. And yeah.